Good morning, Wildcat Seniors. This is Mr. Ellison, and this is our very modified um, award ceremony for all of our senior awards. So um, we're gonna do all of the awards at the same time, so we won't have a separate orchestra and a separate band one. Shouldn't take too long. Uh, we've got four wonderful awards to give away, and of course, with uh, the uh, distinction of winning one of the awards, you will get one of these wonderful uh, paperweight trophy slash keepsakes. Um, and then, uh, of course, your name will be on these plaques, which will remain here in the band and orchestra room forever. And uh, you'll basically, you know, go down in, in legend status here at uh, with the East Chapel Hill High School Instrumental Music Program. So, um, after this uh, quick award ceremony, then go to the next video and you'll see uh, a slideshow senior tribute uh, to say thank you and to really uh, convey my sincere, um, uh, my sincere thanks and, uh, and gratitude for, for a wonderful four years that we've had together. We won't count this last half a year. We'll call it an even four years uh, for you all. So. Uh, we're going to go in order from jazz to what's called the Gilmore Award to the National School Orchestra Award to the John Philip Sousa Award. So um, for the Jazz Award, our Louis Armstrong Award, and the name will go on this plaque right here. Uh, we have our winner is going to be heading to the West Coast uh, for his schooling to uh, work on uh, guitar performance. and. Uh, that award is going to go to our senior, Luke Balago. So uh, Luke, congratulations. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna get these awards to you guys. I will get them, they have to be engraved still. Uh, but I will get them to you and uh, you'll be able to enjoy them forever. So there you go. Luke, congratulations on the Louis Armstrong Award, our, our jazz award. The next award is the Patrick Gilmore Award. Patrick Gilmore was a famous band leader from the 1800s, uh, performed for every president that uh, was alive during his, his time, and um, even has some North Carolina connections when he uh, uh, played here in North Carolina for one of the uh, Union uh, generals. He was in his camp and toured with the Union general and, and uh, performed uh, as part of that group, so um, here in North Carolina. So we've got some connection there with Patrick S. Gilmore. Um, the Patrick S. Gilmore Award recipient will get this wonderful plaque, and um, that person's name will be held on or inscribed on this plaque, which will stay in here. Yep, say it with me, you got it. Um, and the person recipient of this award has been a member of the orchestra winds for all four years, has performed with the North Carolina Youth Wind Symphony or Wind, uh, wind Ensemble, and is currently playing in a virtual uh, concert band and orchestra as well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, make sure you send me uh, the links of, of your performances. I'd love to see them. And uh, that person who is the recipient of this award is Matthew Sullivan. So congratulations, Matthew. Um, I will get that plaque to you as soon as I possibly can. The recipient of the National School Orchestra Award um, will not only get this wonderful uh, keepsake, but their name will go on this plaque forever. And you'll be able to come back in 20 years, say hi to me, and then also be able to check out your name on that plaque. Uh, the person receiving this award uh, had a scheduling conflict this year and was unable to be in chamber strings. So she was very, very uh, gracious and was a member of the string orchestra, was the concert master of the string orchestra, uh, which means that three of her four years here, she was either concert master or co-concert master uh, for our orchestras, uh, has performed with Eastern Regional Orchestra a uh, number of years and um, will be, certainly be missed for all her leadership that she has uh, contributed throughout her years here. So please join with me in congratulating Ms. Jasmine Lee 
for the National School Orchestra Award. So congratulations, Jasmine. Our final award is the John Philip Sousa Award. Of course, John Philip Sousa is the March King. This is an award given to our top uh, band student who shows both musicality and uh, leadership in their time here. Our recipient this year has a uh, full ride to uh, UNLV to perform and go into the soon performance. Um, in fact, uh, one thing I think is remarkable is uh, the recipient of this year's John Philip Sousa Award uh, received the largest ever scholarship that the UNLV uh, band program, music program actually has, has given out. And that's pretty significant because if you know the name Eric Whitaker, that's where he did his undergrad. So Xavier, you have done something that even the great Eric Whitaker hasn't done. You've gotten more scholarship money from UNLV than any other student before you. Congratulations. So this John Philip Sousa Award, of course, goes to none other than Xavier Woodley. So big round of applause for all of our recipients. Thank you very much for um, all of your dedication and all of your hard work here. Really, guys, you made my life so easy and so fun. And, um, you know, music is something that you could take with you for, for the rest of your life. You could take that with you forever and, uh, and truly enjoy that. So thank you for all of your hard work, guys, um, for not only just the, the four recipients here, but, but also for all of our senior class. Um, the leadership comes from you. And, uh, you know, I can only do so much on the podium, but you being wonderful people, wonderful musicians, and um, and helping out day in day out, that is uh, that that's what makes this program run. And so I thank you so much. Uh, please click forward to the senior um, slideshow slash thanks uh, that I have for you guys. There's there's some uh, I, I get to read you a story, and there's uh, hopefully a little bit little bit of a surprise in the middle as well. So. Thank you so much. I hope you all have a wonderful summer. And um, for, for those who are freshmen, sophomores, and juniors watching this, I look forward to seeing you again in, uh, well, let's see, August 17th. And um, I hope you all have a wonderful, safe, and healthy summer. Bye now.